Now what I want to do is basically I want to set up some kind of conditional formatting. So what is conditional formatting? Conditional formatting basically is that um, based on any of the attributes. So for example, let's say the color. So what we want to do is any product which is available in black color, I want to highlight those records. I want to highlight all the records which have the color of black. Okay, so what I can do, go back to my design and then select this whole record which contains my detail records. And now on the right hand side, if you, if you look at the properties, you'll see that there's something called the background color. So what we can do over here, for currently it's selected as no color. So what you, if you just click on it, click on this drop down you'll see that there's an option over here that says expression so if you click on this expression again your expression box will pop up okay now what you can do over here it is written no color over here but we want to perform some kind of uh, conditional formatting so what I'm going to do I'm going to use one of the functions from here so I'm going to go to my common functions and in my common functions I can see that there are a lot of categories of functions that I can use so what I'm going to do now is use the program for function and the function that I'm going to use now is the if function and you can see what is the description of this function, what it does. It returns one of two objects depending on the evaluation of an expression. And this is the example of how you need to use it. So I want to be using this function, so just double click on it. And this packet opens and this function gets added to my expression box. And now I can write my expression. So what is my expression going to be? If I look at the format, I have to mention some field and my condition. And then I have to mention if that condition is true, then what happens? If that condition is false, then what happens? So what I'm going to do is I will choose one of the fields from my report that is available. So go back to fields, okay, in your data set. And I want to make a filter on the color. So if color, okay, and I want to write if is equal to black. All right. Okay. Now with these all these columns, we need to be sure that there are no spaces anywhere because we are making a textual comparison. So what I'm going to use is another textual um, text function. So if you're not sure, just click on these functions and you'll see all the available functions over here with the description and the example of how to use them. So the function that I'm looking for is the trim function that will trim any spaces if they are there. I can also use the UCase function to just convert everything into uppercase just to be sure. So what I want to do is I want to be using the trim function. The way to use it is shown on the right hand side. Just add a trim function over here so that we are sure that there are no spaces. Trim. All right. And then let's uh, use a U case as well. So U case that would convert everything to uppercase. Okay. So so if this column, let's go back to the program flow and go back to if. So it's going to be if and then a bracket and there are two brackets away which we do not need. So trim view case. Okay. If it is equal to black, now we need to convert this into uppercase as well. If this is equal to black, then uh, with a comma what should happen so what should happen is basically i want to be able to choose a color so go up go to your constants and what color do you want so if anything that is in black i want to highlight it in let's say this color 
lime color and if it's not then i want to let it be so i just want to put white okay and just close this okay no red lines so it should be correctly some text and let's just say okay okay and now let's go to the preview and see if it works so select our product category as where did we see that component okay and then the sub category we took was mountain prints and then we will report so now we can see that anything which has a color of black has been highlighted in green and the others are still white okay so this is known as conditional formatting it's it's a good way to catch the eye of the business user all right so if the business user if you want to point some useful information to the business user uh, it's a good way because you can just highlight it so if you're doing any kind of comparisons basically if you're checking your profit margin is less than you can put your expression so your if there's something called a profit margin let's say and we're checking if the profit margin is greater than 50 percent then you can just color all those records in a one particular color okay so that the records are easily identifiable just by looking at the reports if anything is in for example we are uh, checking the performance status of a project let's say and we are uh, seeing if we have met the timelines so for all the projects which have met the timeline we can define a color as yellow for all which have not we can define a color as red and so on okay so if you, there's any scenario like that then in that case this condition formatting is very helpful it's similar to the one that you do in excel okay so this is about the condition formatting